Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Libra. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. How are you, Libra? Yes, I am pulling from Healing Waters, and I'm going to just get you a card to activate the reading. And I'll tell you all about that. Let me get a card for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. For those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy you landed here. Go ahead, go in the comments, say hello, let me know where you're tuning in from. I will come back later and review all comments and give you a proper welcome. Ooh, Libra, into the unknown, underworld, depth, courage, facing your fears. Yes, so, um, ooh, that is very ominous looking, isn't it? Into the unknown. So why I'm choosing this deck, well, first it's new to me. I love Rebecca Campbell and all of her decks. They're gorgeous. Um, but this one is new to me is because um, we started the month of September with a new moon in Virgo uh, on the 2nd. And I did a reading for that. So if you missed it, go watch it. I also did the September Love Tarot monthly energy update where I take the month week by week um, for you, your person, and your connection. So go watch that if you missed that too. Um, those are for all signs. But um, because we began the month with the new moon, around about the middle of the month on the 17th, we have the full moon in Pisces, hence the healing waters. And Virgo is a very healing sign. And Pisces is the emotional sign. And it's a full moon with a lunar eclipse. So we begin eclipse season in this lunar cycle. Um, and the lunar eclipses are associated with the, um, or created, I should say, by the south node of the moon, which is the past, right? So it's about releasing past energy, past pain, past wounds. And in order to do that, stuff kind of has to come up from the depths below right so this is kind of perfect um we're diving into the unknown the underworld the depths and you know facing our fears and gathering up the courage to bring all that stuff back up to the surface face it heal it release it that's the whole process and am I asking you to do it in two weeks time? No, but at least to get it started. So this series of um, readings, my dear Libras, and those of you here watching for a Libra as a cross watcher, is to examine the soul contracts that we have. So this spread is uh, the soul contract spread. So let me pull it. I'll tell you what the positions of the cards are and then we'll get the clarifiers okay here we go the libra sun moon rising venus nature of your karmic soul contract yes ten of cups it's about the happily ever after or some measure of a sense of emotional completion your main lesson hermit funny right we're in virgo season and i'm pulling up the hermit um but it is about not hiding away um, it is about personal growth um self-awareness um introspection so before we can kind of get to that sense of i've got it all now on an emotional level we have to better understand ourselves what makes us tick what makes us work and and you know there's a, an aspect of the hermit that can be a little reclusive so that's your main lesson here. Let's see what you're already aware of. Queen of Swords, that is Libra. Um, maybe your tendency to be a little bit um, sharp, edged, a little bit cerebral. I, I like the Queen of Swords. She's kind of one of my best friends. I have a lot of Libra in my chart, and I count on her to keep me diplomatic to keep me operating from level-headed energy instead of a lot of emotional stuff sometimes. I like, I count on her to keep me invested in getting to, you know, getting to the core of the issue. Like she's the truth seeker, the truth teller. So I count on her for a lot of that. 
And the problem with her, she can be a real, um, you know, she can, she can cut a bitch. She can be a little bit um, sharp-edged. So this is what you're already aware of. Uh, shadow work that may still be needed, two of cups. So you may have some wounds here and some shadow energy to do around your connection. Two of Cups is the soulmate, the partnership. Past healing you've already accomplished. Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords as something you've already healed might be where you second guess yourself a lot um, or where you get stuck easily or where you overthink situations. So this is good. That Queen of Swords may be your friend like she is mine where you can kind of sort of, you know, get things in order and get yourself out of um, cycles of overthinking and overanalyzing. Now, the final step on the healing journey that would signal to you that you are either ready to cut a cord here and release this or that you're ready to sort of close the cycle within this soul contract and move on to the next phase of the soul contract in this connection is the four of pentacles which tells me it would probably be about it coming through reversed where you're not so guarded where you don't have so many walls so many feet high where you're not so um closed off okay so in other words the queen of swords comes through a little softer and a little bit like you're a little bit more introspective and therefore more self-aware and her sword is not right here it's sort of more down by her side um yeah you kind of are picking up what i'm laying down okay so that's the soul contract spread for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you're here as a cross watcher, we can still be talking about you. You just have to take this as it resonates. All right, here we go. Ten of Cups and the Hermit. Nine of Wands, Two of Wands, the Fool. So your main lesson here with the hermit is you may opt out very quickly when things get tough, right? You may retreat because I'm seeing the nine of wands as what do you really want? Two of wands, what do you really want? And sometimes we have to keep pushing through um, and taking calculated risks. Sometimes we just have to take a leap of faith jump leap and trust that the net will appear and so i you know if you want the ten of cups if you want the brass ring um sometimes we have to kind of go all in on love take a leap for love and i'm feeling like in this soul contract if you know you have an escape hatch your main lesson is to really sort of understand yourself and that tendency to sort of retreat mm -hmm. um, and I say this as a Virgo <laughs> and that's the only Virgo in my chart is my sun sign and a lot of Libra all over my chart and and uh, stellium right all grouped together so I feel like I can relate to this tendency to um, sort of you know like i don't i don't need this crap right like that's a part of my i already know so i'm relating and i'm trying to show you that sometimes if you really want a thing if you really want a thing you got to go all in right you got to say yeah i'm going to give myself no out no escape hatch and yeah I got to understand where that comes from. And, and, and then I'm just going to have to like push through that nine of wands has no quit in it. I am not going to give up because that's how bad I want this 10 of cups. And I believe it exists in this connection. So that's what I think I'm looking at for a soul contract. So let's see the queen of swords here. What you're already aware of. Hmm. 
seems like there's either we either we could have potentially a third party situation here for some of you there might be that um and there's a need to kind of get clarity around it queen of swords knight of swords and that queen of wands with the three of cups underneath um, would be the third party the queen of wands would be and that's something you would be aware of if it's not third party and i'm not saying that it is you would already know this is what you're aware of and why you may be icy cold af um, if it's not third party then it is you are very aware of that part of you that is uh tends to be you know icier and not very warm at all um and so there is this uh tendency for like there's no clarity there's no warmth there's no joy mm. there's tension there may be arguments um i'm just feeling like it's something you're aware of um that is a tendency uh, that brings out the worst in the dynamics between you uh, the queen of wands can be warm but she can also be a little a little on the um well if you look at her with that little black cat a little diabolical you know so queen of swords queen of wands in their lower vibration yeah kind of double trouble mm. and so therefore there there might be a need for some reconciliation for some clearing the air and you may be aware of that so i'm just saying it because i'm not sure that i'm looking at third party if if that's true for you then extra added confirmation so let's look at um, shadow work still needed, two of cups. All right. Ace of cups, 10 of swords, the world. We have a painful ending possibly a new beginning but it looks like um it looks like that's what the problem is here you may have kind of jumped off this merry-go-round something happened here very devastating seeing this connection as the love of your life the one um your one true love this is a card of endings too but also new beginnings and since it's coming from the bottom of the deck it's like in in your heart of hearts in your unconscious awareness you're not seeing the new beginning you're just taking this ten of swords lying down literally lying down and it's a cycle you have not yet been able to close out, so therefore there's no new beginning. That's what I mean when I say we're going to have this full moon in Pisces with the lunar eclipse, this, you know, which is south node. That's what I'm looking at here. So the shadow work is really important. And now I see why we've got uh, some of this activity that seems to be trying to regain some sense of power and control. Um, and the thought of any kind of reconciliation is on the way back burner. Because you are seeing whatever it is that had happened, what had happened, what you're seeing here, you're seeing it in very final terms. And yet what you're being shown here in your soul contract is it's only over because you said so, you disappeared or you went off grid or whatever. 
Um, but that, but that the nature of your karmic soul contract is for the fullness of the happiness. that you still need to determine is what you want and that you're willing to take a chance on. So let's look at the past healing that you've already accomplished with this Eight of Swords. So I, again, I feel the Eight of Swords coming through reversed. So we had here in the past some healing you've already accomplished is what the position of the card is speaking to. It's about your happiness and there's that Ten of Cups. And there might have been some pain. There might have been hurt feelings. There might have been something that happened. You didn't let it stop you. You didn't let it stand in the way. You didn't overthink it. You said, well, wait a minute. The pros far outweigh the cons. Yeah, I got my feelings hurt or we had an argument or something happened here. But I can recover. If I don't. Right, if I don't let it stop my forward motion. You use that Queen of Swords in a very practical way. You use that Queen of Swords to operate from a logic and reason instead of getting all tied up in knots because you know how you you knew how you wanted to feel and you knew that there was a greater chance that you could feel that if you didn't succumb to all the worry and thoughts and the nonsense that you would be forever, you know, in pain over the shortcomings of another human soul. So what I'm seeing is you have evidence that when you operate from reason and logic um, in the pursuit of your own happiness, you can heal. You can overcome those setbacks and those painful moments. But something here has you stuck in some measure of finality. So let's see the final step on the healing journey that will signal you're ready to either cut the cord here or resolve this and step up to the next level of this contract. <laughs> Freaking Queen of Swords, man. Okay, because we have this Four of Pentacles, which is very guarded, heart chakra, closed for business, um, very guarded, lots of walls erected, lots of very, the boundaries are way out here, and look what lands on that emperor hmm how do we make progress how do we come through this victoriously right this is about moving forward being triumphant coming through with the victors queen of swords comes back so the final step is dropping that center pentacle right not holding on so tight, not being so guarded, operating from that higher vibration of that Queen of Swords. Not the sharp side, not the sharp edge, but the rational edge, the logical edge. The edge where she has her hand extended. I come in peace. I mean no harm. I, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get down to brass tacks here. Let's just sort this shit out. Let me tell you what this is about. And let's see if we can get beyond it. Move past it. I mean, the chariot is associated with the sign of cancer. So there is some protection, right, built in there. There is some emotionality built in there. 
Um, so when we come through something triumphantly and victoriously, it's, it, it's something that we perceived as a threat. Mm -hmm. So I am really finding this fascinating for those of you with three of cups uh, as third party, queen of wands as third party. Yeah, uh, makes sense, makes sense. Yes, I understand. If you don't have third, you know, and that's something that definitely has to be resolved. Um, if you don't have third party, then whatever it is that, that happened here, um, the only way out is through. And you have evidence that you made it through before. So I say take out those receipts, um, review the game tape, however you want to say it. You know, go back into time. And even if it wasn't about this relationship, if you have come through another situation where instead of getting all up in your head and overthinking and saying, I can't have nice things, right? No, you can because you did it before. You have proof, evidence. And that's how you want to approach this shadow work, okay? Because if you have an opportunity to sort of clear the air, um, once that opportunity presents itself, when the full moon comes and you get this opportunity to drudge all this stuff up and release it so that when the new moon comes, which will be in the sign of Libra, by the way, where the focus will be right here on the connection, on the soulmates, on the partnerships, it'll be Venus's territory. Right? You're going to want to be ready for that. So you can reset all this stuff. So you can have the new beginning. Okay. I digress. So this has gone long. What I want to say to you is, if this is speaking to you, I'm going to come at it now from your person's point of view in the extended. I want to see their perception of you. I want to see their feelings for you. I want to see their intentions toward you. Also, what do they get from you? What are they receiving from you? right what's what's on their side like what do they get from you um physical fulfillment or chemistry um what's that level like and then where's the whole thing headed right where's the connection headed so we're going to look at that in the extended the links to that are below there's three different options for how to access the extendeds please make sure you know what it is that it, that you're getting um, also, if you have not done so yet and you enjoy my readings and you've been following me or maybe you're brand new and you say, wow, I really enjoyed this. I learned so much or this was my story and you have not done so yet, please do subscribe below so I can stay on this platform and continue to do what I love to do the most in the world, which is bring these messages to you. I love, I love doing this. Um, but I also have to be able to support myself. That is the truth of the situation. I'm just being honest. So subscribe. That's our energetic exchange. Thanks in advance for doing that. Here we go. We have the hermit is Virgo. Uh, Queen of Swords came out twice, didn't she? Libra, Libra. Queen of Wands is Aries. Knight of Swords is Gemini. Uh, the world is Saturn, which is Aquarius and Capricorn. The sun is the sun, which rules Leo. Um, Emperor is um, Aries, Cancerian energy in the chariot. And I forgot to mention we have here the fool, which is the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. That's what I have for you. I'm heading to the extended. I'll see you there. Bye for now.